are a billionaire. All you have to do is believe in one small word, we. Yes, I needed a lot of miracles, and they came in the form of other people showing up at the right moment, in the right way, as co-founders, investors, mentors, customers. We made me the success that I am today. Know your power and use it. Right here, right now, today, sitting in this room. You are a billionaire. I'm not talking about dollars or pesos or euros or British pounds even. I Nothing you can touch or see, yet you can spend it still the same. All you have to do is believe in one small word, we. I'll tell you my story. In 1968, when I was born, the world was falling apart. Martin Luther King was fighting for racial equality. Nelson Mandela against apartheid. Gloria Steinem, women's rights, and the US was in Vietnam. Everyone around me seemed to be fighting. But instead of fighting, I was dreaming, and I had big dreams. Dreams of inventing, dreams of traveling the world, dreams of starting companies. My phoenix was rising. Many people said my dreams were fantasy in the 70s. There were so few examples of it. For any race or any gender, and especially for a young black girl, but I knew my dreams matter, and your dreams matter, and that they are all possible with the power of the we. All reality starts in the imagination. Your beliefs have creative power. And here are my beliefs as a kid and as an adult. First, I believe that we are all connected in this world through God. Could I do it alone? No. Could we do it together? Yes. Second, I believe in the currency of faith. And I spent faith vigilantly by telling everyone and anyone the story of the future that I imagined. I knew my believers existed somewhere in this world. I just had to find them. Yes, I needed a lot of miracles, and they came in the form of other people showing up at the right moment, in the right way, as co-founders, investors, mentors, customers. We made me the success that I am today, right? I'm clear. I got degrees from Cornell and Harvard. I co-founded seven startups with the power of the we, from a backpack company to digital satellite radio to a healthcare clinic in Ethiopia that's treated thousands of patients to a virtual reality gaming platform today. I did travel the world. I've been to 50 countries, including South Africa in the 90s, and had the pleasure the pleasure of working with then President Nelson Mandela as part of World Space XM Radio. Thank you. I mean, imagine a young black woman in her 20s I have a dream. raising nearly a billion dollars, right, with micro braids down the middle of her back, looking like a college student, because braids aren't professional, right? Saying, I want to build some satellites. I mean, come on, right? It all seems impossible until it's done.
that little girl never gave up on her imagination. Not then, not now, and not tomorrow. And don't give up on yours. Your imagination is how God prays to you. Right? Look, I'm not going to stand up here and say it was easy. It was hard. But isn't living the life that's not your dream hard? So yes, I suffered. I've lost health. I've lost sleep. I've lost money. I've been treated terribly for being a black, for being a woman, and many, many, many years ago for being too young, right? <laughs> Where's the 50 over 50 list to watch? Because I am just getting started. Fear, anxiety, and panic have all been my best friends. Your dreams are not free, and why should they be? Suffering is the price to pay. Patience, a virtue, and winning the best response. Many once upon a times include nightmares, so congratulations, you have paid in full. Now claim your dreams. Know your power and use it. And also know that you can't do it alone. From that tiny small place of me as a person, community, or as a country, you immediately put yourself in a box. One mind, one set of skills, one collection of resources, one pile of money. But from that powerful, powerful place of we, you, God, and your believers, it's not only all possible, it's doable. Right? From transforming your community, to starting companies, to changing the world. You are a billionaire with the power of the we. Hundreds of us at the museum tonight, 40,000 in the Be Me community alone, 1 million in the DC metro area, 300 million in the United States, 600 million in Latin America, 700 million in Europe, 1 billion in Africa, 4 billion in Asia, over 7 billion in the world. In the currency of faith and connection, you have billions in your bank account. Good news, right? Yes. Worthy and wealthy. So here's the most important question you will ever ask yourself. How are you going to spend it? Right? How are you going to spend faith? I pray for you, your family, the community, our country, the world, that you spend it on your dreams. Don't be selfish. We need your imagination more than ever. It's your turn. Don't look to the left or look to the right. Look in the mirror. You have everything you will ever need. We are all in this together. One or two others at moments along the way can get it all done. One believer turns into a few, many, hundreds, thousands, millions. And there are billions of us in this world. Miracles happen through other people. Tell your story. Just take the first step by saying with faith to anyone that will listen, I have a dream. Until then, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks.